We live in an age where daily life is highly reliant on electricity and transportation, where most everything else that consumes energy is taken for granted. That is, until a power crisis looms. The truth is, energy production does come at a high cost. Traditional sources of energy such as coal, natural gas, and oil are finite and at the risk of running out. And despite responsible industry practices, the impact to the environment, health, and economy are unavoidable. We need a game changer, and we need it fast. Thankfully, the Energy Development Corporation has taken the lead in providing clean, renewable energy not only for today, but also for generations to come. A business that puts people first. A principle that we benefit from without our even knowing it. Can you imagine a world without electricity? I would think not. The mission and the vision of First Philippine Holdings has always been to participate in industries that have an impact on the country. Um, it's industries that contribute to nation building. So for example, we're into power because obviously a growing country needs power. We're into industrial estates so that we can create jobs here at home instead of having to send them abroad. So I guess in short, it is to participate in industries that contribute to nation building. All of us have taken energy for granted. It is present in our daily lives, and usually our only concern is how much it would cost us to have it. Energy is the primary business of First Philippine Holdings. Through their companies, First Gen, and the Energy Development Corporation, they provide 17% of the country's power needs. Energy security means that your sources of energy don't come from just one source meaning we cannot have all coal plants. We cannot have all geothermal plants because there are different needs. So the more diverse your energy sources are, the more secure we are in terms of our energy needs. Compared to coal and oil, natural gas plants have less impact on the environment. But being a fossil fuel, it is also not infinite. The Malampaya gas field is expected to be able to provide energy only up to the next decade. Being always future ready, FPHC, through the Energy Development Corporation, already has 40 years of experience in geothermal energy production, becoming the world's second largest geothermal energy producer. Recently, the EDC also finished the Burgos Wind Project, the largest wind farm in Southeast Asia. While their game-changing strategy in energy production has the biggest impact on the most people, FPHC's non-power-related businesses have proven to be fertile ground as well, with its recurring net income growing by 55% in the past year. While Rockwell Land caters to the upwardly mobile crowd, the first Philippine industrial park has been instrumental in creating jobs for over 40,000 people. Located in Santo Tomas, Batangas, the industrial zone has attracted over 77 respected companies, and this is fast growing. Expecting to increase its footprint from 350 to 442 hectares, the project entices investors to consider the Philippines as a competitive and viable manufacturing site. Tan Philippines is one of the most productive factories we have worldwide. We have consistently outperformed other affiliates in terms of quality and productivity. The success behind this is due to the quality of the workforce we have, which we are able to nurture in a safe, secure, and sustainable working environment accorded to us by FPIP. Being first seems to be the priority for First Philippine Holdings and all its companies. But to be first in business, one first needs to be first in helping the communities around them. When Typhoon Yolanda struck Leyte on November 8, 2013, its damage to life and property again put the Philippines on the world map. With FPHP, operating several facilities out of the area. 
it was personal. Immediately, they set out to help. We have what we call the Later Rebuilding Project. It's a school rebuilding project by EDC, but this time we're bringing in four Lopez companies, namely First Gen, First Felix, First Balfour, and Rockwell Land. It's, I think, a first where everybody's coming in to help out. To date, they have already completed 77 Typhoon Resilient Classrooms that would benefit 6,000 students and can also be used as evacuation areas due to the high quality of construction. We've always done CSR for EDC. We've always done that. I think Yolanda was a wake-up call, not just for EDC, but also for the government. EDC, I think, woke up and realized that we can do more than the usual CSR that we do. We can do something that's more lasting, uh, has more impact to the communities, more sustainable, like this school, which will last for the next 15 to 20 years. Today, Less than 17% of the country's energy needs are being provided through renewable energy sources. But with the EDC's commitment to powering the Philippines in more sustainable ways, we join the effort to transform the world's electricity systems, one geothermal, hydro, solar, and wind exploration project at a time. Before I go, remember, anything, any idea, anybody, can be a game changer. Are you? Down? Down? Yes, then give reward. Okay. There you go. Put your food here and then lure it to the side. Come on. Roll over. There you go. Then once she completes the rollover, click, give, give, them. give the reward. Oh, you don't need okay. to push your dog. Roll over. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is positive reinforcement. Yes. Oops. <laughs> 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 <laughs>